Hey folks, Keith with 93 Lumber coming back at you with another beer. This is my first beer back from uh, my little beer hiatus. Uh, I'm still, I went three weeks. I'm still going to do a tequila review next week. But the reason why I am, I started drinking beer again is because I have a beer thing for breweries that is going to expire next week. So... I'm going to try to use it before it expires. So I cut my little thing short, but I'm going to do a video about my experience of not drinking beer for a little bit and and uh, the future of how I think I'm going to do things. Uh, no. But that's, a, that's for another video. So what do we have here? We have Carton Brewing. I'm going to roll up my sleeves for this. I rolled them down because it was a little chilly, but now it's warm in here. Um, <clears throat> this is, they just released this like within the last week or two, I think. Uh, this is Swisher Honey Blunt Ale with Honey Strain Game Series, 6.2% now glad by volume. Uh, SRM is 13. I don't know what that means. Uh, IBUs is 50. So yeah, they did a, I don't know if it was the last one they did because it was a few years ago, but they did a cherry one of these. And by the time I found it, it had been like months old. So I didn't, I didn't get that, but I got this one. And is there a candle date? Insert. Clever something pun. I don't know what it says. They put a thing on the bottom, but they didn't put a date. Whatever. It was released in the last, like I said, the last week or two. Um, and it's got, and it's a smoke beer. So I'm going to read the little, little thing, which is why I wanted it. You get it. So, but I'm gonna read the little thing right here. Uh, smoke malt is one of the more dubious tools in a brewer's bag because thresholds are vastly different. What to one palate is a hint of bacon or a whiff of barbecue, to another is ashtray or band aids. Mm, ashtray. <clears throat> How can Carton ignore playing this game? Where can smoldering aromatics go off the beaten craft? In Honey Swisher, we have reassembled and deconstructed X aspects of Swisher wrap, rich aspects of Swisher wrap, rich dark malts brought smoky by the addition of oak smoked pale wheat, touched with honey and a heavy plug of the hops that smell like their cousins. Drink Swisher and hand me down a 50 pack. Get it? Cause weed, LOL. Anyway, actually, I should have rinsed this out before I grabbed it because I have not used it in a while. Yeah, whatever. I'm sure it's fine. I'm using I'm using a mug because in the um, in like the release video they do. Uh, the woman was it wasn't Augie. It was someone else. The woman was drinking out of a mug like this one. So I decided, what the hell? Oh. I watched I watched that, but for some reason how dark this is still surprised me. Oh yeah. Definitely should have rinsed this out. Or actually I should have washed it before. It is dirty. I hate how uh this is a bomb place. I hate how I don't want to hold it like this. Oh look at that. Should have put it on the other side. I feel like a lot of mugs are like that. The the logo and stuff is facing you when you hold it like this. But anyway, that is dark. It's brownish, dark brown. Um, uh, yeah, I can't see through it. Yeah, that, that is a finger and a quarter, finger and a half of a... 
khaki, a little darker than khaki head. And yeah, that looks good. Let's see what it smells like. I am getting a, what is that? I know what it is and I can't fucking. Um, I haven't, I haven't really done this in a while, so bear with me. Um, bitter. Little bit, there is a little bit of like a tobacco-y thing in there. It's not really smoky. I don't know if this glass is the best for this, but whatever. And maybe a touch of sweetness. I'm not sure. I'm going to drink it. Cheers. That bitter thing, I think, is how the smoked malt is coming off. And it is coming off. This is way, way more bitter than I thought it was going to be. This has like, and maybe it's just my palate because I haven't drank beer in, in three weeks. This is not my first beer, but the other beers that I drank, I drank, I had two beers. I had a Jenny Cream Ale and, a, and some light lager from some brewery. <clears throat> yeah. There is a touch of sweetness in there, but I don't know if I would, I, I, like if I didn't know it was honey, I don't know if, cause there's actual honey in here, right? Touched with honey. Yeah. Like for me that, That sip was a little more mellow. Yeah, the nose is becoming a little more ashy. There is a little bit of like a tobacco-esque kind of thing in this, but I would not say this, um, at least for me. And that has happened with other beers where people are like, oh, this is super dank or whatever. And I'm just like, it doesn't taste like that for me. There are, there have beers that have tasted like that for me, but for some reason, the ones that are supposed to taste like that or smell like that don't to me at least in my experience and actually it is slowly starting to come around 
I think it's a combination of my palate not being used to drinking something like this. But also, uh, when I brought it home, I just threw it in the other fridge. So it's probably a little colder than it needs to be. But there is a... I mean, it's supposed to be like a weed thing, but there definitely is like a smoky tobacco, little bit of band-aid-y kind of, uh, maybe leathery band-aid kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. It's like it, a bit drying, a little bit. I mean, after chugging half of it. And I don't know, cause this is, I, there's no date on this, but I know, I know they put the, I actually looked at the release video because I was like, oh, what glass did they drink it out of? Because I'm gonna drink it out of a similar, a similar glass. Um, oh, I think it says insert cl clever marijuana pun. I think that's what it says. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that like. Ashy, bitter, smoky thing. It's weird because I usually like it, but the way it's coming off in this is not is is not how I like it. Like this tastes like I got a little bit of sweetness there. Yeah, I mean, this is okay. Um, not what I was expecting, but you know, it's, it's, it's cool. Like I get what they were trying to do. Not that I'm into that, but um, <clears throat> yeah, weird. And I wish I could, I wish I could better, like, I wish I had another smoked beer here that was ashy in the way I like ashy so that I could compare them because it is coming off that way. But for some reason, I think it's because how bitter it is. This is bitter. This is coming off bitter. So it's bitter ashy instead of just. I don't know. I mean, there is a little bit of a sweetness in there, but yeah. Like if I didn't know it was honey, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't call it honey. And even though I know that it's honey, I don't know if I would call it honey. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it needs a little bit of time. Who knows? Um, but yeah. Hope you're doing well. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. You can like this video if you would like to. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. You can follow me on Instagram at 93lumber. That's spelled out. 93lumber. Oh, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.